right, guys, as promised, I am bringing you my Trader Joe's food haul. And I also have something that I discovered today that they were sampling out that I wanted to let you guys know about. So for you guys who are new, my name is Dory. I had weight loss surgery, but I like to go and find good bargains on a lot of different things that are helpful in my diet. So here we go. So I picked up some of these yellow, uh, diced yellow onions. I solely bought this because of the, um, because they're already done. They're already cut, it's already easy. I take these actually, and I make myself a, I call it a gyro, but apparently it's like a euro. I believe is how you say it. But basically, I take one of these, which is the reduced carb, it's only, um, let's see, there's 10 carbs minus three, dietary fiber so there's I mean sorry minus seven so there's three net carbs um, and then there's four grams protein 45 calories for one I heat one of these up either on the stove or in the microwave I top it with this these are the euro slices um, these are amazing they're already fully cooked you just heat them up you can heat them in the microwave if you want but I actually just put them in a pan and fry them up really quick so for two ounces, which is approximately two strips, I believe, it's 16 grams of fat, there's uh, four carbs and eight grams of protein, no sugar added, 190 calories. These are delicious. So there's, I take this, I put this on it, I add the onions, and then there's also Trader Joe's has a tzatziki sauce that I put on top, and it is out of this world, delicious, and so low carb and good for you. Um, so they were sampling out this today, which is the Trader Joe's roasted garlic chicken sausage. And on here, it's one link, link is 110 calories, six grams of fat, three carbs, and 11 grams of protein. But what they did was they cut up one of these links and they made it with this. This is rice cauliflower stir fry, and it has green peas, red peppers, grilled corn, tamari, um, spring onions, sesame oil, and ginger. Um, the stats on this is pretty good. I mean, there's it's a serving size is a whole cup, which is 50 calories, two grams of fat, seven carbs minus two fiber, which so it's five grams of carbs and two protein. So if you take even a half a cup of this, that's only three and a half. What did I say? So it's, so it's five grams, half, so it's only two and a half grams of carbs for half a cup. And adding in even half of this sausage, that is actually a delicious meal. I would actually put a little bit of low sodium soy sauce or fish sauce in it as you're um, stir frying it up. And that is so good. You could even add some Brussels sprouts or broccoli to this just to make it a little bit more without having to add any more carbs in um, from here. But that was my new find today. I was really excited. Um, also, I bought uh, some Brussels sprouts. Uh, my husband has been roasting these in the oven. He cuts them in like either in half or in thirds and puts them in the oven with olive oil, uh, eggplant, and squash. And he's been kind of making his own little veggie uh, thing. Um, this is the bacon. Of course, you guys know how much I love this bacon. This is my favorite bacon ever. It's just at Trader Joe's uncured no nitrates nitrates added no preservatives you know raised without hormones and all that stuff i love it and it actually has really even better stats than some of the other bacon it only has um two slices of bacon is 60 calories so one slice is only 30 calories which is amazing two grams of protein per slice I love that bacon. The way it comes out, the texture, I love it. So two non-food items I bought. So you guys know in the past, I have told you about this. This is the lavender salt scrub. I love this. I use it like every other shower that I have every other day. I love it. It, it exfoliates. It made, makes your skin feel soft. I love, love, love it. I love the smell. And then this I discovered um, probably about two months ago when I just ran out but it's Trader Joe's uh, Moisturizing Hand Cream. And this goes on your hands and it's not like sticky, it absorbs well, but it leaves your hands really, really soft. So I really love this. Um, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything 
uh, bad on it at all, as if anything bad is really at Trader Joe's. Let's all be serious. Um, this is also something new I tried uh, that I bought today that I've never tried before. My friend was with me, and she loves this. So this is the oolong tea. She said she heats hers up or she drinks it on ice. Um, and so for eight ounces, there's so that would be half of this. Um, there's only nothing in it. How do you like that? There's only 10 milligrams of sodium. Nothing else is in here. It's just plain tea. I love that because during, um, before I break my fast, if I just, or between meals after I've broken my fast or broken my fast, I would have some tea and I usually have hot tea because it's still kind of chilly here. And then, um, but you know, I could have this on ice as well. I'm sure it's probably really, really good. So I can't wait to try that. Um, and then, of course, you guys know I always get my pork belly. I love this. It is fully cooked. I throw it in a pan. I crisp it all up. I eat half to three quarters of this every time I get it. I love it. I also fry it up for my husband. I, I used to be really stingy and only keep it for myself, but I try to really be nice now, and I let him have some too. <laughs> um, this was really good the last time. I shred this up. It's also fully cooked. Heat it, serve it up. I um, put it in a pan. I just let it slow, you know, slowly get warm. The juices come out, and this is uh, pork, you know, uh, carnitas. So I take this, and I'll have some sour cream on top, some salsa. I might have some guacamole if I need a healthy fat. And this is sensational. I bought two of those. Uh, then I bought some raspberries, some blueberries, and some strawberries. The blueberry, uh, the berry family is really very healthy for us, especially when you don't want any of the added carbs, especially when you're first freshly out of surgery. If you stick to the berries, you will do well. Um, I also got some more broccoli. I have been making beef and broccoli. It is the most easiest thing I've ever done, any recipe. Uh, hands down and I have perfected it to where my husband can't even tell he said if it was from a Chinese restaurant or not because it tastes so good I think he told me that maybe maybe I dreamt that I don't know if he told me that or not but I think it's sensational and he has said he loves it so basically I take whatever cut of, of a steak I'm going to do I fry it in a pan nice and slow like I normally do I set it aside I add a little bit of onions in that um in that um whatever meat juice or whatever I've just cooked it in. Then I add this in, I cover it, I let it saute for a little while until it's almost um, soft. And then I go ahead and put in about two tablespoons of uh, the low sodium soy sauce and about one and a half tablespoons or so of the fish sauce. And that is it, that is all I put on that. When we eat it, we put sriracha sauce on top and it is so, so good. Then I bought some uh, pasture-raised eggs. Um, we go through eggs a lot. I picked up some bay leaves only because I remembered while I was there to get some. I would normally buy a bigger jar, but these are fine. I usually use two bay leaves and about uh, two tablespoons of vinegar when I boil shrimp. And then last but not least, I picked up Power Crunch Bars. I love having something every once in a while that is... Um, that like helps my sweet tooth kind of to get control of it i'm trying to put it by flavor so you guys can see the different flavors so i got the french vanilla cream which is my favorite salted caramel is my second favorite triple chocolate i figured maybe when i need chocolate and i'm like fiending for it and i don't feel like having my chalk zero um uh and then i got peanut butter fudge so basically, I bought these two reasons. One is the people over at Keto Connect recently did a video on what the best uh, uh, power bars are and what the worst are and kind of went from the avoid category, which is do not even have it, to a meh category, to good, to best, amazing. And these were under amazing. Um, they're not the, the best as far as stats. So basically, the stats on this is it's one bar is 200 calories, 13 grams of fat, uh, seven net carbs, five added sugars, and 14 grams protein. Now, normally, I would say that is not really good, but they made a lot of good points in their video, one of which is once you have this, this crushes your sweet tooth as but if you have a Quest bar, which Quest was like a yuck, eh, if I have to eat it category. Um, 
But they said if they have a Quest Bar, they are fiending for something all day long. They really have not squashed that sweet tooth craving. With these, it squashes every single time. And it's not a horrible thing because of what where the ingredients come from as far as the added sugar and the you know net carbs it is 13 grams of protein some are 14 grams of protein um i think a couple of them may be higher in or lower in let's see this one's nine grams carbs this one's only seven i think this was seven let's see yeah seven this one has eight See the triple chocolate has nine so they vary in the net carb but hey if i am fiending for something and i could do damage by having something else i'll grab this because i'm not going to do damage and since i'm so super low carbs anyways if i'm going to be at like three grams carbs and i'm going to add eight you know i'm only going to have 11 for the day so i'm not really worried about them plus i use ibotta and i'm going to actually put a link down below you guys could click it ibotta is just an app all you do is find the things that the companies will pay you money to buy and then you scan your receipt in that's it and they pay you i've already made uh, almost thirty dollars in the last two weeks just normally buying all this stuff sometimes they they pay you just to go shopping and you know they give you 20 cents 40 cents 50 cents each one of these that you buy you just scan them in so so super simple when you click my link i'll get 10 bucks you get 10 bucks um it is so worth it i have saved so much money going through there and when you shop on amazon or you know walmart wherever you go but you get cash back so i just bought an air conditioner on amazon and i'm getting my cash back for that now and it is amazing i actually used the link through uh jessica which is um uh kansas kitty uh, little Kansas Kitty. So um, it's been great. I'm so glad that I did it. I'm going to put my link below you guys and you will not regret it. I mean, free money. Absolutely for sure. I promise it. There is nothing uh, difficult about it. If you have a smartphone and you can put an app on there, Ibotta is the one to have so you can earn some money for things you're going to buy anyways. Um, so, all right. As always, I love you guys. Thanks for your support. Please click the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys next haul.